Okay, so let's solve this problem. So in solving logarithmic equations, then for this given, since there is lag on both sides, so therefore, just cancel. So we have x plus 6 then equals 2x minus 4. Then to solve for x, so transpose. So we have x, so this becomes negative 2x, then equals negative 4, transpose this positive 6, so that's negative 6. Then this x minus 2x, or 1 minus 2, that's negative 1x, or negative x, then equals this negative 4 and negative 6, since negative, so therefore you add, so that's negative 10. Then divide both sides by negative 1 to make this x positive, then equals positive 10. So x is equal to positive 10. Then for this given, so first, we need to convert this logarithm in exponential form. Since log with base b, then x equals n in exponential form, that's b, to the power n equals x. So therefore, for this given, so we have x to the power 2, then equals 64. Then to solve for x, so just take the square root. So, therefore, x is equal, so for the square root of 64, that's positive and negative 8. So, x is equal to positive and negative 8. Then, for this given, so again, we need to convert this logarithm in exponential form. And since there is no given base, so therefore, the base is equal to 10. So to convert this one in exponential form, so we have 10 to the power 2, then equals 3x minus 2. Then to simplify, so this 10 to the power 2, that's 100, then equals 3x minus 2. Then to solve for x, so transpose this negative 2, so we have 100 plus 2 equals 3x. Then this 100 plus 2, that's 102 equals 3x. And to solve for x, so divide both sides by 3. So therefore, x is equal so for this 102 divided by 3 equals that's 34. So x is equal to positive 34. Then for this given, so using the properties of logarithm, that log m minus log n is equal to log m over n. So for this given, this one is m and this is n. So we can write this one as log with base 3, then 9x over x minus 8, then equals 4. Then to write this logarithm in exponential form, so this one is 3, to the power 4, then equals 9x, then over x minus 8. Then simplify, so this 3 to the power 4, that's 81, then equals 9x over x minus 8. Then do cross multiplication, so over 1, then multiply. So this becomes 81 times x minus 8, then equals, so 1 times 9x, that's 9x 
Then simplify, so distribute. So this one is 81x. Then 81 times negative 8, so that's negative. So this 81 times negative 8 equals, that's negative 648. So negative 648 then equals 9x. Then to solve for x, so transpose this 9x, so we have 81x minus 9x then equals transpose this negative 648, so that's positive 648. Then simplify, so this 81x minus 9x, that's 72x then equals 648. And to solve for x, so divide both sides by 72. So therefore, x is equal. So this 648 divide by 72. So 648 divide by 72 equals, that's 9. So therefore, x is equal to positive 9. Then for this given, so using the properties of logarithm, that log m then plus log n, so equals log m times n. So therefore, we can write this one as log with base 5, then x minus 1 times x plus 3. Then transpose this negative 1, so equals positive 1. Then to write this one in exponential form, so we have 5 to the power 1, then equals, so x minus 1 times x plus 3. Then to simplify, so this 5 to the power 1 is 5, then equals, so apply the FOIL method, so x times x, this one is x squared, and x times 3, that's positive 3x, then negative 1 times x, that's negative x, and negative 1 times 3, that's negative 3. Then we have now 5 then equals x squared, then this positive 3x minus x, or 3 minus 1, that's positive, 2x then minus 3. Then equate this equation to 0, so transpose this positive 5, so we have x squared plus 2x minus 3, then minus 5 equals 0. Then this time simplify so we have x squared plus 2x then this negative 3 and negative 5 since the same negative so you add that's negative 8 then equals 0. Then since this is a quadratic equation so using the factoring so for x squared, that's x and x, 4 negative 8, that's 4 and 2. Since the middle term is positive, so therefore the bigger number must be positive. And this one is negative. Then equate these factors to 0, so we have x plus 4 equals 0, and the other one, x minus 2 equals 0, so therefore x is equal to transpose, that's negative 4. And the other one, so x equals transpose, that's positive 2. Then observe that from this given, if x is negative 4, so negative 4 minus 1, that's negative 5, and there is no value for log of negative numbers, so therefore this negative 4 is not the solution of this equation. And if x is positive 2, 
So 2 minus 1, that's positive 1. And 2 plus 3, that's positive 5. So therefore, the solution for this logarithmic equation is x equals positive 2. Then for this given, so using the properties of logarithm, since plus, so therefore this one is log with base 2, then 3 minus x times 5 plus 2x, then equals log with base 2, then 14. Then observe, for this equation, there is log on both sides, so cancel. So we have 3 minus x times 5 plus 2x, then equals 14. Then simplify, so 3 times 5, that's 15, and 3 times 2x, that's positive 6x, then this negative x times 5, negative 5x, and negative x times 2x, that's negative 2x squared, then equals 14. Then equate this equation to 0, so we have negative 2x squared, and this positive 6 and negative 5, so 6 minus 5, that's positive 1, or positive x, then we have plus 15, then transpose, so that becomes negative 14, then equals 0. Then to simplify, so we have negative 2x squared plus x, and this positive 15 minus 14, that's positive 1, then equals 0. Then since the first term is negative, so multiply this whole equation by negative 1. So this becomes positive 2x squared and this positive becomes negative x. This positive becomes negative 1 then equals 0. Then for this quadratic equation, so using the factoring, so equal 0. So for 2x squared, this one is 2x and x. Then for this negative 1, that's 1 and 1. Since the middle term is negative, so therefore this one is negative and this one is positive. So to solve now for x, so we have 2x plus 1 equals 0. And the other one, x minus 1 equals 0. Then to solve for x, so we have 2x equals transpose this positive 1, that's negative 1, and divide both sides by positive 2, so x is equal to negative 1 half. Then the other one, x equals transpose this negative 1, so x is equal to positive 1. So take note that if x is equal to negative 1 half, so this negative and negative 1 half, that becomes positive. Then for x negative 1 half, so 1 half of 2, that's 1, so this one is positive. So this negative 1 half is the solution of this logarithmic equation. Then for x equals 1, so if x equals 1, the answer is positive 2. If x equals 1, the answer is positive 8. So therefore, this x equals 1 is also the solution of this logarithmic equation. So x is equal to negative 1 half and positive 1.